Greetings in Christ to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship. Through this live stream of the Iosusan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is 23rd of the week in ordinary time. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Roni Chrysostomo SVD, Rector of the Shrine. Our celebration will now begin. We will rise. Mm -hmm. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. The Church celebrates today the memorial of St. Peter Claver, priest, a Jesuit missionary to Colombia, South America spent his life preaching the gospel, taking care of the black slaves of uh, that country. We as missionaries are called to uh, participate in the mission of Christ in every situation. We thank God also for the uh, celebration, successful celebration of uh, our uh, foundation day yesterday and continue to grow in the spirit of mission. To celebrate worthily this Eucharist, we ask God's mercy and forgiveness. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for, for we, we have, have sinned, sinned against, against you. you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant, and grant us your, your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Peter Claver a slave of slaves and strengthened him with wonderful charity and patience as he came to their help, grant through his intercession that seeking the things of Jesus Christ, we may love our neighbor in, need, in deeds and in truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, this is no reason for me to boast. For an obligation has been imposed on me, and woe to me if I do not preach it. If I do so willingly, I have recompense. But if unwillingly, then I have been entrusted with a stewardship. What then is my recompense? That when I preach, I offer the gospel free of charge, so as not to take full use of my right in the gospel. Although I am free in regard to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so as to win over as many as possible. I have become all things to all to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel, so that I to me have a share in it. Do you not know that the runners in the stadium all run in the race, but only one wins the prize? Run so as to win. Every athlete, athlete exercises discipline in every way. They do, do it to win a perishable crown, but we an imperishable one. Thus, I do not run aimlessly. I do not fight as if I were shadow boxing. No, I drive my body and train it, for fear that after having preached to others, I myself should be disqualified. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest, in which she puts her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Blessed they who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. Blessed the man, the man whose strength you are. Their hearts are set upon the pilgrimage. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. For a sun and a shield is the Lord God, grace and glory he bestows. The Lord withholds no good thing from those who walk in sincerity. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. We will rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher. But when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not 
perceive the wooden beam in your own? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me remove that splinter in your eye, when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed day to all of you, dear brothers and sisters, and also those who are joining us in our worship through this live stream. Once again, I would like to share some points from the first reading that hopefully may help us appreciate the message of Christ through this apostle. Here in the first reading, we uh, find the uh, presentation of Paul regarding this community of uh, Corinthians, Christians of this community that was marked by intrigue, division, proud Christians, and uh, he presents to them one of his favorite theme, and that is the graciousness and gratuitousness of the apostolic vocation, that it is not earned, it is given as a gift. Therefore, freely called to preach the message of salvation, of joy, Paul carries out this mission with the same generosity. He carries out this mission with passion and generosity. The only recompense or reward is this to preach freely the gospel. In other words, the very reward is the privilege to preach the gospel. Just as Jesus briefly stated in uh, the Gospel of Matthew in that part section on missionary discourse, Jesus said, freely you have received, freely you give. The free giving of God must correspond to the free giving of one of oneself of the believer. And uh, here we find Paul questioning about the quality of faith of uh, Christians. And he focuses on that tendency of attaching merit to our to those supposed to be good things that we do or putting ourselves on the pedestal because of our faithfulness pretending that we merit God's reward one of the uh, writers, spiritual writers, Adrienne von Speyer, rightly wrote, and I quote, she said, Holiness does not consist in the fact that one person gives all of himself or herself, but in the fact that the Lord takes everything in a certain sense, even in spite of one he has chosen. And it is a good reminder, again, for all of us, you know, that it is the, uh, that God has given freely, generously. You know, our response, therefore, is that also of the same 
generosity. The gospel suggests in the gospel of Luke chapter 17 verse 7, verse 10 rather. When you have done all that has been commanded to you, say, we are useless servants. We have done our duty. May this attitude of uh, openness, generosity be also ours and move beyond that idea, that attitude of uh, thinking that after having done this or that good, supposed to be, that we can, we can demand from God our reward. No, it is ultimately salvation, the grace of God, our gifts from Him, that we do not have a claim even with the things supposed to be the good things that we do and accomplish. Let it always be that attitude of openness and humility. Lord, no, as the servants in the parable, no, we have done just what, is, what was commanded to us. We are but useless servants. We just have done our duty. Amen. By his words and works, Jesus taught us the forgiving mercy of God, which seeks to save and not to condemn. May we follow his example as we pray to the Father. Our Father, make us to be like you. Our Father, make us to be like you. That the church may undertake the road that leads to forgiveness, justice, truth, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Our Father, Father make, make us, us be like, like you. That honest and lowly citizens may not be misled by false and ambitious leaders. Let us pray to the Lord. Our, Our Father, Father, make us to be like you. That we may refrain from passing judgments on or condemning other people on account of their weaknesses and shortcomings. Let us pray to the Lord. Our, Our Father, Father, make us, us to be like you. That the sick may experience the forgiving love and healing of our Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Our Father, make us to be like you. For all of us, that we may remain healthy and strong to wither this ordeal physically, emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. May we all be protected from contra contract the virus and giving into fear and panic. Let us pray to the Lord. Our Father, Father make us to be like you. That the dead may obtain mercy before the judgment seat of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Our Father, Father make, make us to be like, like you. Lord, open the eyes of all people who have lost their way in life. By your grace, lead us back to you who loves everyone. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. i 
gifts we offer for your glory. We will eat this living bread, we will drink this saving cup, and feel your presence, O oh Lord. As we offer these breads and as we bring you this wine, now give us life send us your spirit the source of our lives and together we will serve you with love as we offer this bread and as we bring you this wine bless them lord jesus feed us now us life, send us your spirit, the source of our lives, and together we will serve you with love. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We humbly implore your majesty, almighty God, that just as the offerings made in honor of blessed Peter Claver be witness to the glory of divine power, so they may impart to us the effects of, our, of your salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For as on the festival of St. Peter Claver, you bid your church rejoice, so do you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Fund of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Onesto our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those we remember in this Holy Mass. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, Saint Peter Claver, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, who art in heaven Hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name, name thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were, you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
priest then. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Peter Claver, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and love. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray, we pray that, that you guide, guide the people, people task to find cures for this disease and to stem its, its transmission. transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray, we pray for our health, health workers, workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and, and compassion. compassion. Grant we them in mind and body strength and their commitment to protection, protection from, from the disease. disease. We pray, we pray for, for those, those afflicted May they be restored to help. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Janssen and Joseph Reinadevitz, pray for us. Saint Peter Claver, pray, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, your loved ones, your work and activities, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Kapwa'y mapaglingkuran